All right, guys, welcome back to the sawmill. I'm sitting here with my LT35, fixing to saw a big pine log that's been sitting here for a while. I am in the planning stages of building a new sawmill shed, something larger than what I have now. The one that I have now is sufficient, it's working great. I will probably convert it to a lumber storage area, but especially when I get this LT40, I want a larger area to be able to load logs. So I've met a couple of obstacles along the way. Um, I have about an acre and a half here and there's two structures. One was simply an eyesore. And so the past week and a half, I've been demolishing that with the excavator that I purchased in the summer. But I've got work piling up here at the sawmill. I've actually hired a young fellow who is doing an excellent job at the moment of getting me caught up. He's coming in in the evenings and, and sawing while I've been demolishing this old house and getting that site ready to build on. I'm about three quarters of the way finished with that side of the project and then it'll be on to the ordering of the materials. I feel a little bit pressed at the moment on the materials being ordered. As I understand it, in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, still prices are supposed to go up. So in order to build this 30 by 40 or 30 by 30 steel truss metal pole barn that I want to build, I would love to grab that before prices go up. Uh, if, that, if it doesn't happen, then, you know, like I like to say, you know, it is what it is. But I'm hoping that I can get my ducks in a row and get that material purchased before prices go up. In this series, I want to bring you guys along for the ride. I want to bring you along as I tear down the old house, I harvest the lumber for the posts and the purlings of the building and mill those. And then as I begin the construction on this new building, I think it'll be rewarding and I think it'll be a learning experience. I would love to have questions and comments uh, pop up all, all through the day and all through the night because it might be that you guys see something that would work better and, and, and I'm always open for those suggestions. So I hope you guys enjoy this series and thank you for watching. And until we see you next time, keep it dusty. This thing looks real shabby on the outside. You can see. I'm actually gonna get probably either a good handful of one by sixes or a good solid six by six out of it.
There's the healthy eight by eight out of that trashy log. Thank you for watching. And until we see you next time, keep it dusty.